Hey David Dolls, long time no see. Oh my God. So basically I get asked the question all the time, do you have any regrets from VSG surgery? So I wanted to come and make this video. I know it's been a while since I've been on this channel and I apologize y'all. You know, life gets in the way and the important thing is what? Not to quit, but to take a break. I took a break and now I'm back. So I wanted to come and share with you guys. Um, I will be updating this particular channel once a week every Sunday. If you guys already follow me on my beauty channel, that's awesome. You see, I've been pretty regular there. So if you guys want to know more about like my hair, my makeup, um, go ahead over to that channel. Make sure you subscribe. I'll put the link over here somewhere or down in the box. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So this video is about any regrets or if any, that I have from getting vertical sleeve surgery. So if you want to know more about what it is I regret, stay tuned. Okay, so so many people always ask, they want to know what is it that I regret about VSG? And that's always a weird question when I get that because I am so happy I did it. It's something that changed my life and it's still changing my life, but I have to be 100% transparent and 100% honest. So I did make a little list. It's actually not a lot on here because believe it or not, I am pretty happy with my decision to get surgery and it's been about almost three years now and so far everything I've been blessed with as far as not having a lot of huge medical issues or side effects so I can't yeah I can't even be upset so uh, the two things that I have here is that when you have a changed relationship with food so that is my biggest regret of VSG and I don't even know if I should call it a regret because if I could do it all over again, I still would. Um, as cliche as that sounds, like I legit would do it all over again. So when I say you have a changed relationship with food, I literally mean the way that you used to enjoy food, whether when you were upset, when you were happy, when you were celebrating something, all of that is gone. It's out the window. Um, basically, food is fuel. Now don't get me wrong, I still eat with emotion and you know, that's something that you learn, you have to try to your best to control. Um, but basically when I eat food now, I know like, for example, New, New Year's dinner, that's always a real nice meal, Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, birthday dinners that I attend, you know, nice restaurants, I like, I'm a foodie or I like to think I am and I like to go to, um, to your relationship with food absolutely 100% you will change your relationship so for some people no big deal no problem but for me if I had to say it was a regret that's the only thing because food made me happy um, not just in the sense of overeating and like getting some kind of emotion from it but I celebrated with friends we go out to eat um, whenever you know there's something going on whether it's a baby shower a birthday party um, you know top performer at work I mean everything is celebrated with food so being that I changed my relationship with food I in a sense couldn't enjoy certain activities as much so i don't want you to think if you get surgery you're not gonna be able to enjoy life still of course you can but i can say that i used to be so satisfied eating like a bowl of chicken alfredo like i love pasta so the fact now is when i eat i can't eat but a couple of bites still now my stomach obviously has stretched some um i used to only be able to eat four tablespoons of food and then it went to like a whole cup of food. I could possibly, I, I basically can eat a whole cup and a half, two cups of food now. So, I mean, I can eat a lot more, but still nowhere near I used to, as far as the amounts I used to be able to eat. So just recently I went out with a friend um, and we, we had a birthday, she had you know her birthday and we were eating and everyone was eating throughout the course of the meal. And after a few bites, I was stuck. Like actually after the appetizer, my glass of wine. So I find that I still can't eat food and drink food at the same time. And it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it kinda is because I have to choose still do I want to drink this drink or do I want to eat my food? Now, when you try to do the two together, like you're still going to have problems. Like your stomach can't hold that capacity. So I miss 
being able to eat a whole plate of food. I miss being able to socialize with friends and it's weird when you're the only one there not eating. Sometimes I'll push my food around on my plate, you know, cause everyone else is still eating and having a good time. I don't wanna just sit there with my hands on my lap. So every, I mean, all my friends and everything, they know I had surgery, but it's still is just a weird thing. Um, there's been times where I'm eating something and it's extraordinary delicious to me and I can't enjoy it anymore. And it's kind of really weird, it's really embarrassing to just want to eat the food and chew the food and then spit the food out because you don't have any space in your stomach. Oh, that sounds so crazy now that I'm saying it out loud, but that's what it is. Like, I will be enjoying some food and loving the way it tastes because I don't just eat food for fuel, even though that's what it's intended for. I eat food because it tastes good. And I hate when I cannot complete that satisfaction of getting that flavor, getting that food in my body because my body shuts it down. So, I mean, I am very grateful for my sleeve and for the capacity of what I can hold and it's what helps me keep my weight down. Um, but that's the only regret I would really have to say, of course, is just the fact that I can't enjoy my meals. Or when I eat certain foods like sweets, I'm a big sweets person still. Just because you have surgery it doesn't change your taste buds, it doesn't change your requirement, like you know, like what it is you like. So I will still try to eat ice cream or I'll still try to eat cheesecake. Of course I don't OD and overindulge and try to like um, kill a whole pie or something like I'll eat pieces of it, but still I get sick feeling like I feel nauseous instantly after and it's like not worth it. So with surgery, it's just the foods that I used to heavily enjoy. I can't as much because a I can't eat that much of it or B it makes me sick literally it makes me sick. So um, that's number one regret. Um, and then number two people discredit your hard work. Like you all know, I have been on this journey way before I got surgery and it's like when I would lose 10 pounds, people would be like, oh, you did such a good job or oh, that's excellent. But then it's like once I have surgery, I still take, you know, that same persistence or the same perseverance. It still take that same dedication of eating right, planning your food, getting some physical activity in, making sure I sweat. I mean, drinking water, going to sleep, like all that stuff still takes time and it still takes work and it still takes consistency. But when you tell someone, oh, well, how did you lose weight? I always start with, I had VSG surgery because I want people to know that is a huge, huge reason how I lost the weight and how I'm keeping it off. However, it's not the magic wand. Like it's not that I didn't do hard work myself. Like you can't take that away from me. And that's what the hell happens. So on my Instagram, I still always mention if I do a transformational Tuesday post, VSG in my post, I don't want anyone to think I'm out here talking about, oh, I lost the weight on my own or I use these It Works products. That's what made me lose the weight. No, that's what helps me continue to have energy to go to the gym, to eat right, to help me burn these calories. That's what I use to keep my stomach flat. That's what I use to keep me from being bloated. That's what I use that makes me feel good. But I still have to plan my food. I still have to do workouts. So that's it. I just, I just wanna talk about my personal regrets from having VSG surgery. Um, the loose skin, I don't mind it. Not being able to eat a whole bunch, not a big deal, but I, I do miss it. Um, my hair, you know, falling out and now it's growing back. I mean, I wear wigs anyway, as you can see. And it's not a big deal. I take vitamins for that as well. And again, everything I, I do, it's, it's not a huge regret. I would still do it all over again. I still recommend it if you need that extra push and those extra restrictions. Okay, but and that's really it. So this was just a quick video to answer that question that I get asked so often as far as do I have any regrets of VSG? So the answer is no, not really. But if I had to narrow it down, it would just be my missed relationship with food, how it used to be, and people not acknowledging the hard work that this whole entire journey 
requires to be successful or semi-successful. So I hope that was helpful. I love answering these questions. Again, y'all, I will be back every Sunday with a new video. So feel free to subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my beauty channel and leave me any questions or comments down below. I really want to answer anything I can to help your journey. Um, and check me out on Snapchat and Instagram, which is Chrissy the Doll. And then also um, send me a message through my blog if you have any questions, which is crystalchanel.com. And that's really it, y'all. I just want to say thank you as always for supporting me and stay fabulous and stay fierce. Three things in one palette and it's less than $10. Like, they're amazingly pigmented. They come.